Former Cincinnati Reds catcher and Major League Baseball Hall of Famer Johnny Bench spent many years in the sun while playing. At the age of 64, he was diagnosed with basal cell carcinoma, the most common type of non-melanoma skin cancer, and was diagnosed a second time just last year during a routine visit. Today, he's joined by leading board certified dermatologist Marissa Perez to talk about getting real about skin cancer. Uh, thanks to you both so much for joining us today. Dr. Perez, what is non-melanoma? skin cancer or NMSC and how common is it? Well, non-melanoma skin cancer is the, the leading form of cancer in the United States. Uh, over 5 million are diagnosed on a yearly basis. Uh, they compose two main components, is basal cell carcinoma and cutaneous squamous cell carcinoma, both of which uh, are totally curable by surgery if diagnosed early. But if they are left uh, uncontrolled and undiagnosed, they can uh, invade, go deeper and travel. Therefore, our aiming here is to try to prevent, show prevention, early diagnosis, so that we will not have to treat disease in an advanced stage. Therefore, go visit your board certified dermatologist on an annual basis and do self skin exam regularly so that you will know your spots. Who is at risk for this type of skin cancer? If you read the literature, uh, it's going to tell you that it's uh, people with light skin, light uh, hair, light eyes, and uh, lots of sun exposure because the sun is the one that uh, causes the mutations that induce the cancer. However, people of color can also develop a squamous cell, a cutaneous squamous cell carcinoma, usually in more covered areas, on areas of scars, genitalia, under the nails. Uh, and so therefore, we advise for everyone to go visit your board certified dermatologist. Nobody is expelled uh, from the disease. Well, Johnny, you've had a long and successful baseball career filled with so many accomplishments, but many years ago you were diagnosed with MNSC. How did you actually first discover it? Well, I actually had uh, been in to see my eye doctor and just for an examination and saw he saw blisters. And the blisters had come in and gone a couple of times. I'd sort of popped them and like I wasn't like, worried about it. And he said, you need to see your dermatologist. I immediately went to the dermatologist. They uh, did a biopsy, found out it was BCC and had it, I had it removed through most surgery. And then I've continued to see my dermatologist twice a year, not only twice, once more, but actually another time that just happened recently when I found, or he found a spot underneath my, on my chest here. And all of a sudden I'm in for another biopsy, for another surgery, but they caught it early. And I think if Dr. Perez will tell you, and she was mentioning, if they detect it early, it is treatable. And so I'm asking everyone to go to the website, let's get real about skincancer.com. Let's get real about skincancer.com. And we'll ask you to make a pledge, meaning please see a dermatologist. And, and on that website, you will find a uh, dermatologist in your area. You'll find out more information. You'll find out about what to look for in self-examination or have one of your spouse or somebody look at an area that you may be concerned with. But I know early detection is the real key to this because five million people, I think that is low compared to what if people really got out to see their dermatologist, what the numbers would actually be. So looking back, would you have protected your skin from dangerous sun exposure? And then what advice do you have for other people? Well, sun protection, obviously. I, I wear big hats, I wear sunglasses. I'm finding out from Dr. Perez that sometimes all these long sleeve shirts and everything else don't always give you the protection you need. You still need to apply skin cream, you need to do a sunscreen underneath of that because what was you saying, Dr. Perez, 5%? On uh, is, is, uh, the sun protection factor of a regular cotton shirt is f SPF of five and when it's wet is two. So therefore you need to really buy materials that have SPF factor of 50. Think about all that baby oil and iodine you used back then when you were young or when you were doing it and you were out there skiing and you were always doing it and now they want the, the smallest bikini they can find and now we want the smallest speedo and we can do it. And all we're doing is, you know, as we age, but I think Dr. Perez will tell you that by the time you're 18, you've already done the damage, most of it. But I've obviously, if we're exposed every day and we're going out there boating and everything else, 
just be just be cautious. Lay in the shade a little bit. Get the protection. Put your sunscreen on all the things that you need to do. Go to Let's Get Real About Skin Cancer and make that pledge, but get smarter about what we know about cancer. All right, thanks to you both so much. Thank you.